Okay, here we are at the Quinta Inn uh, in Albuquerque, room 410. Let's check it out. Uh-oh. Try this other one just by chance. Ah, the other one works. All right, so here we are. Wait there a second. All right, here we are. Here's the room real quick. I'll check out the bathroom first. Okay, it looks pretty good. Few scratches there, no big deal. A little stuff going on there. Not perfect. Some stains right there. But still, it's not too bad. Right over here. Here's the beds. Looks pretty good. I'll take a closer look later and share that with you guys. We're up on the fourth floor. Let's see what we can see outside, if anything. Not too much. Kind of strange doors for the bathroom. Double doors. A little bit odd. Looks like there's no way to lock your bathroom door. It's kind of weird. Yep, no way to lock the bathroom door. <laughs> All right. This is strange. And the door doesn't light up correctly. What is up with this? Uh, there. There's always some cork at these hotels. And you can see the quality here is like kind of not so great, not so great. And to me, probably the most important part of any hotel or B&B is the cleanliness of the bed. Looking close. All right, that looks pretty good. Good. Good, good, good. No stains, no hairs. That's the two things I always look out for. Good. This one looks good. I'll quickly check the other. That looks like it's pretty good too. I don't see anything wrong with that. There's a minor, minor, minor thing right there on that pillowcase. But still pretty good for the bed situation. One thing we noticed is there's no microwave or uh, refrigerator in this room. And hey, you get a mountain view. Well, sort of. Okay, quick update. We've been in the room for like two hours and uh, things have gotten a little bit worse. Not horrible, not horrible, but somewhat worse. The first thing is it kind of smells like urine, not only in the hall, but even in the room. It's not super strong, but it's definitely there. So we've opened up the window and that did help some, but I can still smell it. What I learned is that this is a pet friendly hotel and I love pets. I mean, we, I grew up with dogs and we've had dogs as an adult as well. So I love dogs uh, and I love pets in general, but I think when you have a pet friendly hotel, there's a high likelihood that pets are going to pee. And unfortunately they have carpet here and I think that makes it even worse. So our room smells like pee. That's pretty bad. We're only here one night and I'm going to leave the window open so we should be fine and survive, but that's that. Uh, the other thing is we wanted to do our laundry here, which we are doing, so the, the clothes is in the wash right now, but we were informed after the, we already put them in that the, the dryer doesn't work. So uh, we're not. they said they were going to try to get it fixed, but at the moment we're not sure how we're going to dry our wet clothes once they're done with the, with the laundry soon. Uh, the other thing is, and probably, probably the worst thing is I just went for, I just came back from going for a walk. Whenever I come to go somewhere, I like to do a walk around just to kind of like explore the neighborhood, this and that. And 
it's pretty sad. Hang on a second. I was only walking for like 15 minutes. I wanted to do like 30 or 40 minutes, but I only walked 15 minutes. And the reason why is because there are just so many homeless folk here, like where this hotel is in Albuquerque. I mean, there was no other people on the road, just me and probably at least 20 or 30 homeless people that I saw in just a short little tiny, tiny 15 minute walk. I mean, seven and a half minutes out, seven and a half minutes back. I've probably seen 20 or 30 homeless people, little groups with 10 people, some random guys on the side, you know, just lots and lots and lots of homeless people. It is so sad uh, that there's such a high number of, of folks in such a state here. And, you know, everybody, everybody else is in their car, nice cars driving around, uh, scooting around. Nobody walks anywhere because I think they're afraid of the homeless people. Now, I've been to a lot of places in my life and around a lot of homeless people and a lot of different types of people. So I'm not too, personally, I'm not too worried or afraid. I, I really don't think they're too much of a threat. But on the other hand, if you have a family and stuff, like I'm like my wife and daughter are here, there are some restaurants down the street, but we're not going to walk to them, especially after dark with just like all these people we don't know. And, and honestly, some of them could be in, in desperate situations, which could be dangerous, you know, for us. So just like everybody else, we're going to hop in our car and drive. In fact, I think there's an odd person there's somebody standing right behind my car for some reason, I think. Anyway, I think I'm going to bring my bike in the hotel tonight for, for the security. I don't want it to get jacked. So, um, yeah, but if you have a family and stuff, you're probably not going to want to walk around uh, here, unfortunately. So that's probably the, the worst thing. The smell of urine isn't good either. And the thing is, is it, this place isn't too bad. Like the interior is clean enough. The bed is nice and clean, which I love. But we're paying $97 a night here with tax and everything, which I know isn't a lot, but to me for 97 bucks, you shouldn't have the smell of urine. At least that's the big, the big thing. They can't help. They can't help when they built the hotel. Maybe if homelessness became more of a problem in the area, but still at the end of the day, 97 bucks and basically a hundred dollars for this. It's not too good. It's not too great, honestly. So anyway, I'll give a final update and a final review tomorrow. And um, until then, I hope things actually improve. So the breakfast here is very minimal. There, I don't think it is any hot food. There is a toaster for your toast, but really not too much. Uh, but they do have a nice outdoor seating area that we're taking advantage of. Okay, it's morning time and things didn't go too bad overnight. Uh, the breakfast was decent, so it's okay. The smell did kind of bother me though. Anyway, I guess in total, I give this hotel a three out of five stars. The only one thing they need to do is get rid of the carpet and get some kind of hard surface just to get rid of that smell because they do accept dogs. In fact, there's some, some pups right over there being walked. Anyway, they do accept dogs. Sometimes dogs have accidents, so they need to get rid of the carpet, have hard surfaces, and this place will be so much better. Solid four out of five stars if they do that. But as it is, with that smell, I mean, come on. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.